And if you're wondering, yes, I do use pink gloves in my dental office. Yeah, what is up Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and today I have the weirdest bootleg box that I've seen yet. And this is gonna be the last one for a while. I know you guys have seen me opening a lot of one piece bootleg boxes, but I don't need to anymore. And the reason why is because there is a one piece card game that's coming out by Bandai. It's real, it's here. I just opened the starters like a week and a half. I'm gonna have booster boxes of the Japanese boosters to open. So make sure you hit that subscription button and that little ding dong bell if you wanna see those videos of the new Japanese one piece booster cards. I'm gonna upload the videos in super high quality so you can see all the texture foiling and all the amazing stuff that's going on with them but this is it this is my last bootleg box for a while if they release something cool new i'll probably get it also but i don't need to anymore i don't need to open bootleg cards because bandai's making a real one piece game so that's it that's this has been the bootleg adventure uh i thank all of you for sticking with me through these bootleg shrippums but there's some pretty cool stuff in this box and i have to wear gloves when i open these cards because little pieces of metal can come off into my fingers and I don't wanna get metal in my fingers. Let's get into this thing and check it out. All right, so this box comes in like wrapping paper. It's like gift wrap. But the box itself is texture foil. Yeah, seriously, the box has texture foiling on it. It's crazy. And there are these insane, there are these insane lenticular cards in here. They're like, 3D crazy looking cards, but slice them, this strip them. Not only does the box have texture foil, but all the packs are in cardboard packs that have texture foiling on them as well. This is definitely the most interesting bootleg strip them that I've done, so I'm excited to do it here with you guys. And it comes with some stickers also, you know, some extra stickers just for you to stick on stuff. But like I said, the gloves are going on because I do not want to get I do not want to get metal in my fingers, so I am opening these cards with care. And if you're wondering, yes, I do use pink gloves in my dental office, and yes, I do wear pink glasses in my dental office. So this is it. This is the uh, this is the thing that the packs come in, so we'll bless them one of these. And then uh, we'll just strip them these things. So you, you kind of get in here, and then there's a pack inside of this thing. And some of these packs I've seen actually are already like opened once I open them but they do have some, they do have some like metal that comes off the sides. But yeah, the cards themselves look pretty good. They're pretty good looking cards. And some of them just have this thing in the back if you like collect enough of them. All right, so you gotta open this part and then in here is the pack. And that's what we're stripping with gloves on. I would recommend wearing gloves if you open these packs. The danger is real. You don't wanna have metal in your fingers. Oh, here we got a rare card. We got a Wanted Gecko Moria. Very nice. Yeah, I think one of the rarities in this set is the Wanted cards, but I'm looking for those lenticular cards. They are so sick. I think there's like five per box, so we should see a couple of, whoops. That was an explosive shrimp. That shrimp just exploded all over me. Anyway, that's what's in that shrimp. But yeah, I can't emphasize it enough. If you're gonna be shrimping these things, definitely wear gloves because it's dangerous. You don't want to put yourself in danger just because you want to strip them. It shouldn't be like that. It's not supposed to be that way. Just because you want to strip them something doesn't mean you should be putting yourself in danger. So you should take the precautions. Whoa, what is this card? This looks crazy. Looks like there's something crazy in here. I don't know if I've even seen. Oh, that's just the back of the wanted cards. That looks pretty cool on the back actually. Crocodile. I think actually I pulled all these. So I'm curious if once you start seeing the same cards if all the same stuff is in the box. I did pull this one white beard lenticular that looked so insanely cool. And I know there's like a gear for, I think it's a Bounce Man Luffy or a Snake Man, I'm not sure. One of those, but we should be getting to one of these lenticular cards soon. We're getting all the wanted cards. Yeah, this is actually exactly the same as the last box that I did of these. It was just these, it was like all the war, it was all the warlords for the wanted thing, so. Hopefully it's not all the same lenticulars because I think I got like three Usopps in that box. It was not that hype. That's pretty nice looking. Let's see, you are another one of those. I'm pretty sure those cards with the characters on them, it's like if you collect, if you collect enough of those things with the characters on them, you can redeem them for something. You can tell the person you sold, you bought it from, hey, I got, look at, look at this picture of all these cards with just a character on it that I pulled. Oh, this is sick. Yo, Afro Luffy. You know there's power in the Afro. You gotta respect Afro power. Anybody that doesn't respect Afro power gets clapped. We learned that. And another wanted. 
thatch. Yeah, all these are identical so far for the wanted cards, so I'm really hoping it's not going to be a triple Usopp lenticular box. That would be a real bummer, but we'll see. Maybe they're different. You know, you never know until you strip them. It's the only way to find out is to strip them. Still no lenticulars yet, but we got a U, you are Mr. One Diaz. All right, let's get in there. Still no, not a single lenticular out of all these packs. I usually pull one out of the first one or two packs. But I think, oh, snippity snap. Look at that. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the lenticular Luffy. Oh my God though. Yeah, gear four bounce man. That's what we're looking for. Gear four bounce man. Come on, please, please, please. Yo, sha, look at that. Oh that is my sick, nasty. God though. That is a sick, nasty trading card. Piece of card. Somebody is selling these on eBay also. They're selling them for like 17 bucks. So yosh, yosh, I just pulled one. That's real. That's the lenticular Luffy. And there's, oh, this is so cool. That is a really cool card. I love lenticular cards. And the, I like lenticular when the quality looks really good. You know, you can see the image really well in this. It's pretty cool. Looks very, very deep. It's got some nice dimension to it. The HR rarity. That's what they're calling these. Very, very cool. All right, so there should be a couple more and that's different. I didn't get that. I haven't pulled that yet. I know it's the one that's on the box. So I assumed that it was a lenticular that was there, but I haven't seen it yet. This looks like another one of those character, yeah. Ooh, Hachi, SSR Hachi. It's pretty nice. Furenki. And the art, even on like the commons, or I guess they call them SRs, but the normal rarity, they look pretty good. Overall, I'd say this is a great looking set. You just have to wear gloves when you open it because you don't want to end up with metal in your fingers. You'll literally get metal shards in your fingers. Oh, is this a, is this a lenticular Brooks that we're about to see? Oh man, oh man. Yo, yeah, look at that. That is so cool. Give me that. Wow. Wow. Those lenticular cards are fantastic. The depth on them, they just look so dimensional and 3D. Sorry, I, I know there's light glare on here, but very cool looking cards. Very, very 3D. You know me. I love a little 3D. 3, 2D, 2Y, 3YE, if you know what I mean. On the 2... 2D 3YE, if you know what I'm talking about. There should be, I feel like there should be at least three more lenticulars, but we're not seeing them here yet. Ooh, that Mihawk is sick. That is a cool looking Mihawk. These should be like, most of these should be lenticulars at this point. They really should be. I think I got, there's a couple packs left here. And I know more of this should be this 3D. Yo, I'm, all right, I think this is the Inero lenticular. Chopper. Yeah, yo, this box is heat. This is awesome. What the heck and heck? That is too cool. And all the other boxes I've gotten, also, I've gotten multiple of the same lenticulars. I know there's a lot of Enero fans out there. So for all you Enero fans, here he is, the man, the myth, the, the man on the moon. He's just a man on the moon that got his head punched into a bell. Ding, ding, dong, dong, what the heck? That's your reminder. Don't forget to hit that ding, dong bell if you wanna see these shrippums every week. I just shrippin' stuff every week. You know, maybe do some deck profiles here and there, but there's something every week for the Joker. Definitely a lot more One Piece stuff coming up since the, oh yeah, okay, double and arrow. This is another lenticular and arrow. Yo ho sha. All right, hopefully we don't get three of those. I'd like to see some variety here. That would be nice. That would be nice to see, but you never know. You never know with these bootleg trippums. You know, you just, you just crack the pack and you just trip them. I'm gonna try and not do these backwards so I don't know what's coming. I'm more surprised. Oh uh, no. Ooh, that's, you are Nami. That's pretty nice. That's a pretty nice one there. Yeah, these cards look rad. Just a reminder. Strip them safely, wear gloves, because you will be in danger if you do not do that. What do we got here? I've seen a lot of these cards already. Yo, Django, one, two, Django. This is sick, I like this Django. Django is definitely one of my favorite characters, so exciting to see him come around, show his face. Showing his face after all this time in the Navy. All right, there really should, I think there should be, no, there should be one more lenticular, I think. So between these two packs, it's either in this or the Blessing, and I'm gonna try and open it this way so I don't reveal what's at the back of the pack like I've been doing so foolishly. What do we got here? All right, all right, Doctor, oh, this should be one. Yo, Kuma, wow, that is cool. That is very, very cool. Dragon Ball. Awesome looking card. And the Blessing in the pack, of course. I don't think this is gonna be a lenticular here. This is probably gonna be, I don't know what it's gonna be. 
honestly, but let's strip them, and that's the best way to find out. I think there's five lenticulars per box, so I think we hit them all. There, the Luffy. Oh, no, I was wrong, and it wasn't even at the back of the pack. Wow, Smoker Lenticular in the Blessum. Japan. That is rad. Japan. This is good news. This is really good news. Look at all these Lenticulars we pulled. We got Smoker, we got Kuma, we got Inaru, the double Inaru, Brooks, and the gear for Luffy. Bounce man. That was a hot box. That was a hot box. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that was the hottest box I pulled. That box was straight heat. And we got this thing. God knows what this is, but maybe I'll send them a picture and say, hey, can I turn this into something? Anyway, guys, that was the danger strip them. That's why I got these gloves on. No metal in these fingers so I can go to work and do dentistry. By the way, I am a dentist and I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. So my dental tooth tip to you would be don't bite things that are harder than your teeth. Don't bite on metal stuff. I know we use metal to clean your teeth in the dental office, but you shouldn't be biting on metal because it can really damage your teeth. Really just rule of thumb, anything that's harder than your teeth, don't bite on it. You know, teeth get brittle over time. Chewing on ice creates craze lines in your teeth and over time those compound and then eventual fractures. Don't chew on ice, stuff like that. Thanks for coming by, thanks for checking this out. Uh, if you wanna go over to my Instagram, at JokuDMD, I will post a picture of the white beard lenticular because that one is super sack. Anyway, thanks for checking it out and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, that's a funny show.